Play-Doh was never intended to be a toy, the title of the video is not false. You can imagine my surprise when I heard the story that Play-Doh was not intended to be used as something to play with, but instead as a wallpaper cleaner. It all started in the 1930s, when Noah McVigor, a man from Cincinnati, Ohio, worked, was working at Kuto Products. He came up with the brilliant idea of making a putty-like substance that could clean coal residue from wallpapers. But with the end of World War II, the world started to transition from coal-based home heating to gas-based, which in turn decreased the amount of soot in the walls. The company started scrambling for new ideas and projects to get back on the shelves like they used to. That's when McVicker's nephew, Joe McVicker, joined Kuto to try to help them. It was not a businessman, nor a CEO, or an engineer, but a nursery school teacher, Kay Zufo, who upon seeing tons of articles of people who use the cleaning putty for their arts project, decided to come up with one brilliant idea, turn the cleaning putty into a playable, moldable putty for children to use and play with. And alongside her husband, they came up with the name Play-Doh, which instantly became a symbol worldwide for a playable, moldable, colorful putty that children began to enjoy. In 1956, the product was launched at a convention for manufacturers of school supplies. Two years later, the company registered a 3 million sales figure. And by 1964, they had sold items to Britain, France, and Italy, showing the business world that maybe fancy titles and big careers aren't everything, that ordinary people can be amazing in all fields.